I'm up on the north east coast of the UK. Um, I've been at a place called Skegness. Um, looks a good sandy beach to do. Uh, never been here before. Uh, I don't know if there's any other metal detectors on here. I saw a couple last night. So uh, anyway, we'll give it a go. Pier doesn't even go into the sea, so that's an interesting structure. So right, I'll get set up and uh, hopefully be back with the first find. This is why you detect under piers. Um, I'm underneath that pier you saw earlier, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Just that uh, nice find in the bottom of the uh, thing there. Just down there, uh, sort of just in front of these, uh, these pile on these things. So, right, we'll carry on, see what else we can find. Like uh, quite a little productive area under the pier here. Just got myself a 2p in the scoop, but that was really deep. That was probably about 6 inches down. Um, and the 5p was over there, probably about 2 inches down. So stuff's definitely falling through the floor. So I'm going to wander up here, underneath here. If I can try and get up to right to the end there, that's where all the amusements are. You might find some stuff. Also looks to have been a nice cut wandering along this beach here. So I'm going to give this uh, area down here a go as well and see what's come and been washed out as well. So um, yeah, only day one, but so far quite impressed. Okay, back soon. Just had a nice uh, 50 pence piece, literally about an inch down, obviously falling through the floor. Um, so yeah, still in expendable. Uh, it's literally just on the edge here, um, so I'm going to run down under that ledge there, see if there's any fall falling down the side of the pile. But this little patch here um, looks to be just a good little spot actually. Um, I'll try and do the next one there as I said, see what else I can find under there if I can get my head under there. Right, onward. Right, now just add a modern 20p. See through the slats at the top there if you drop anything on the pier, it's just straight down and into the sand, which is good for me. Okay, let's carry on. Right, just add uh, another 5p, a uh, little modern coin, but again, still under this pier, it's just brilliant. I'm hoping the nearer I get to the amusement, the more coins I'm going to find. So, right, on we go. Uh, modern 10p this time. who's just walked past me here wasn't very observant because if you look there it's just a coin laying on top of the sand 2p piece so still working along this cut here I've done up under the pier there um, you see most of the coins I've found so I thought I'd do this bit of the pier here where it uh, goes out into the sea and see what we've got there. So, uh, tide's coming in, so I'm going to get my finger out. Right, back soon. So if you can see that laying down there in the sand, that is a 20 pence piece. Been there for a while, so I'm going to spiral out from here. Watch my first spiral, and we'll see what we can find. And this is why you spiral out. Dead centre of that spiral there, 20p. Got over to here. I would have missed that had I not done my spiral. Right, I'll continue going. I normally go out about six rows. Once I get out about six rows, I'll stop, which will probably take me up pretty near the cut. Okay, back to that. Uh, again, in my spiral, just laying on the top. Uh, very old coin there. I don't know what that is. That's been there some time. I think that's probably a 2p, but I'll have to clean it up when we get back. Right, that's just on the top. Okay, continuing round. 